What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another highly combustible reaction. Listen, sometimes nature leaves a little bit of help. Woman has removed over 300 hooks from shark's mouths. Some of y'all out there will be like, oh, hell no. I don't want to be anywhere near a shark's mouth. That's the end where the teeth are at. But we got a lot of places where there's some kind of dumb laws that cause this kind of thing too in my mind like hawaii where your shark fishing is now banned and should you find out that you're hooked up to a shark the guidance and i've already gone to the website to check is to cut the line which would mean that there's a whole bunch of sharks out there swimming around with hooks in their mouths i can only imagine that that's got to be somewhat painful Get over and show the Dodo all the love in the world. The Dodo Wow Hearts. We're subbing up. We are. We already been subbed up. We're smashing the like button. I love anybody that's willing to help anything out that needs help. Whether it's people, whether it's animals, whether it's who knows. But she's doing the job that most people would be like, no, hell no, that's terrifying. I personally like swimming with sharks, though I don't ever want to meet a great white shark. Uh, let's go. I love my sharks. We need them. And I start seeing them coming in with these hooks. The hook removal started like anything would start when you love someone. I just wanted to make their lives a little bit better, to relieve their pain. With Foggy Eye, one day she showed up and she had one that was actually inside. I would open her jaw and see the hook. And then a certain moment I decided to basically stick my hand in and so, pull the hook out but then as soon as she came back she allowed me to pet her and from that day on became a shark that would just show up on the dive and all of a sudden i will feel a pressure on my hip and i will turn around and she'll be like leaning into me just stop swimming this it's a beautiful thing you never know what an animal is gonna do when you help them out They've got feelings, people. They've got just as much feelings as any of us do. I'm assuming that you wouldn't want to be rolling around with a hook stuck in your gums either. This change of personality from before the hook and after the hook was very much a light bulb for me. When they remove the hooks, I feel happy, satisfied, and relieved. And then the other thing I notice is as I start removing hooks from my known sharks, other sharks will start showing up with hooks. Oh, they told their friends. People ask me, the do out. they communicate? And I'm like, yes. They're very accepting. Sharks in general in the world are very tolerant of our presence. And I honestly didn't realize that until I was in the Bahamas. That's where I did my first ever dive of any sort. I went snorkeling once, and then I was like, you know what, I want to try scuba diving. I did, and we went all week, and there was not a single shark in sight. And then the very last day after I decided to get certified, the very last day of certification, they took us to a place, and they said, hey, you're probably going to see some sharks here because this is where we do our shark dives. And as soon as they said it, a 12-foot shark swam by the first diver in the water, and he was like, whoa. And I looked and all I could think was, I'm getting ready to jump into the water with these things. Like, they're there. I've seen it. I know it's there. I must be crazy in my mind. But the second you're in the water, everything changes. That whole Jaws mentality, oh, the shark's going to eat me, completely disappears. They're curious. They want to know where the bubbles are coming from. They want to know what you're up to. They want to see things. They stay at a distance normally and swim around if you ain't got food. They just kind of circle you and watch. It's nothing like I would have imagined. And it is a very, very ethereal moment to be in the water with something that magnificent. I don't know. Entering their world. I wanted to pet a shark from the first moment I saw one. It took a year and some time before the transition between being a diver and then being a professional and I mean, working with sharks and then finally having a shark in my lap. It's understanding that it's done on the shark's terms, not on mine. Because every time a shark does that, I do realize what a privilege it is. This is a wild animal and she's given me full trust. 
is a complete abandonment saying, well, in this moment, I trust you. You're not going to hurt me. It is something to be absolutely in awe of, no matter how many times it happens. What I developed is an appreciation for their vulnerability. I've dedicated a lifetime, 26 years, and 25 of those have been spent in the water with sharks. We may still years. be a little bit afraid of sharks, but we need sharks. We need the sharks them. are vital for balancing the ecosystems. And this planet survives on the balance of the oceans. They have been affected by our fishing, by our coastal destruction, by our pollution. This is the um, box of hooks that I've removed uh, through the years. Over 300. I think sharks are absolutely beautiful. I love how they seamlessly swim through the water. So graceful. Like my parents taught me, there are no monsters in the sea, only the one we make up in our heads. And that's absolutely a fantastic thing to see. It really does warm the heart. If you want to see more heartwarming videos, Get over and show the dodo all the love in the world. Christina, seriously, that's freaking fantastic what you do. I appreciate you for it. I've been in the water with the sharks. I've never had one sit in my lap. I haven't gotten that brave yet. But just to see them, just to be in their water and have them not viciously rip you to bits. People don't realize that most shark attacks are accidental. They're exploring. It's, it's not some crazy, wild, I just want to tear you up kind of thing. It's really not. Just like a stranger that comes by your area, or your neighborhood or anything like that. You're curious. You want to know what they're up to. You want to know what they're doing. The same goes for them. They just want to see what's going on. What's making all of these bubbles that I'm seeing? Like, I don't know. There's something beautiful about it. Unless you've been in the water with one and seen how graceful they truly are and how you don't have to be constantly afraid. I think it's good to have a healthy fear of them to realize that, yes, they could be dangerous. But as long as you're not doing anything to aggravate them as long as you're not floating on the top of the water and they could mistake you for food as long as none of that's going on it's a i don't know it's like being in another world it really really is i'm glad that there's people out there helping them i wish some of these laws where it's like oh just cut the line would go away because now you got a whole problem a whole bunch of animals out there swimming around with barbs and hooks in their bodies and i can't imagine that that would be very very pleasant uh get over show the dodo all the love in the world smash the like button if you liked it the dislike button but i won't believe you tell the next one of my like combustible you guys be happy healthy safe i love you to the moon and back peace